Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 44. Today we show you how to place Google Drive files into multiple locations without making a copy. If you're like me, you've probably had this problem at one time or another. You want a particular file, presentation, or document in more than one folder at a time and you don't want to make a copy of it. Perhaps you have a presentation that goes into the public website folder, but you also want it to go into the conference folder that you'll be presenting at. Or maybe you have a presentation that you want multiple classes to have access to, but you don't want to have to change it in one place and then remember to go back and change it in the other one. The problem comes when you try to drag and drop it and move it. Or if you right click on it and choose move to, it's just going to move that file from one to the other and it won't place it in both places. So here's the secret clickbait tip. You right click on it, you choose move to, and when you go pick that second location, hold down the control button and click. And then you have add as an option. When you complete that, you'll see that it exists in both locations and this is the same document. So if you make it change in one, it changes in the other. Yeah, mind blown. That's it, you're welcome. Oh, and as a bonus tidbit, if you remember our episode number three, we covered a few URL hacks, and one in particular was the slash copy one, which prompted the visitor to make a copy of the file instead of viewing it. Well, that's nice, but what if you could let them view the file and make a copy without pestering you to share it? So what you do is this. At the end of the URL, of any shareable URL, instead of slash edit and instead of slash copy, you type slash template slash preview slash template slash preview. It gives them a preview of the document as if you did the slash preview option and even place the slides and everything else or, but it gives you the option up at the top right to use this template, which basically makes a copy of it for them. So it's the best of both worlds. They could preview it and it gives them a copy so they don't pester you to share it. All right, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and click that like button. Heck, why not support us and click that subscribe button. You can get to it by clicking on the YouTube icon in the video, the bottom right. Leave a comment or an idea for Tech Tuesday video below and share this video with your friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.